You've probably heard it before and I've said it myself, cloud certifications are not enough to get hired today. But the truth is, if you don't have any certifications, you're unlikely to get an interview at all. You see, the problem is not certifications, it's thinking that they're all that you actually need in order to get an interview or ultimately the job itself. In this video, I'm gonna help you understand why cloud certifications are still essential, but they're not enough on their own. And there is something else that's even more powerful than your resume. Stick around and I'll walk you through a project from our bootcamp in which our students gain real world experience before they even land a job in the industry. I'm Neil Davis and I'm the founder of Digital Cloud Training. And over the past several years, I've trained over a million students in cloud computing and helped them transition into cloud careers. And I've worked as a senior solutions architect for global enterprises. And I can tell you this from experience, certifications absolutely do matter, but they're not the golden ticket that's gonna get you the job. Now let's get something clear. People who say that certifications are useless either have a lot of experience themselves so they can leverage that experience to get into their next job, or perhaps they're trying to sell you some alternative. Here's what actually happens when your resume hits the inbox of a hiring manager. They're essentially going to scan or use automated tools to scan for specific certifications and skills that are on your resume. So if you don't have certifications like the AWS Certified Solutions Architect, for example, then you may get filtered out for the job and you won't even make it to the next round. You haven't had that opportunity to get in front of that employer and really talk about any experience you might have because you've been filtered out based on a simple fact that's missing from your resume. So the certifications in this case are certainly not gonna guarantee you the job, but they're gonna help you get past that first stage so that you can get put through for an interview. Now that being said, of course, you can't just memorize facts and walk into a job. Certifications are very useful and they're a great way to learn the technology and then prove that you have a certain capability. But largely it is about memorizing information and facts, which are put in some cases into some scenarios in the questions, but it's not the same thing as real world experience. And that's not enough to actually get a job. So to be able to work in the industry, you need to be able to prove to the employer that you can work in a team, that you know how to solve complex problems. That's really what you're gonna be there for in the job, solving business problems of various different types. Unfortunately, most people are simply watching videos, following very simple hands-on tutorials, and that's it, they stop there, they get the certifications, and they wonder why they're not getting interviews or not able to get through the interviews, perhaps passing a technical test that proves they have capability. And so that's because they're not able to combine the certifications with the necessary project work and experience that they need in order to get that interview and then to be able to prove themselves if they get put through technical tests, which are commonplace these days for many tech roles. So at Digital Cloud Training, we designed a program that solves this. It's part of our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp and we call it Group Collaboration Workshops. These are really the closest thing you're ever gonna get to on the job experience without actually getting hired. So the way it works is that in the group collaboration workshops, you get put into teams of three or four people, usually of different experience levels, but in a similar time zone so that you can communicate outside of the live sessions. An instructor is then going to act as a cloud manager and give you some tasks. They're gonna provide an assignment and they're gonna give you an outline of that assignment and you then need to work with your team to solve some business problems, come up with solutions, actually put together a sprint plan. You're going to present your ideas back to the manager and they're going to critique your work. They're gonna give you some feedback and give you some ideas on what you need to do in order to solve more problems or refine the design. Then you're gonna go off back into your team and you're gonna work through these issues and you're gonna eventually have a great design. You're gonna build a solution so you've actually worked in a team, solved real world business problems and developed a working solution. At the very end of this series of workshops, you're gonna be able to present your designs back to the hiring manager and they'll give you the final feedback. This is really something that you would do normally if you're working for AWS or Google or other tech companies. So again, it's great experience. Not only are you learning the technical skills, but you're learning some of those soft skills as well, including how to present your ideas back to a manager. By the end of the workshops, you'll then know how to design and build solutions, work in a team, 
solve built business problems, communicate technical decisions, troubleshoot issues, and actually present your ideas back to the manager. When our students go to interviews, they don't just say that they've watched some videos. They haven't just learned some facts and memorized them and passed an exam. They can actually say that they went through this process. It's great when you get into an interview and they ask you, what real world problems have you solved? Give me some examples of how you went about it. What was the process that you took? How did you work with other team members? What sort of issues did you find along the way and how did you solve them? If you can't answer those types of questions in interviews, you're just not gonna get the job. And in fact, if you can make sure that you can present this information ahead of the interview, so you're gonna have it on your resume, you're gonna have it as part of your project portfolio, you're more likely to get the interview in the first place as well. A lot of people will just be passed over because there's other people who can demonstrate experience. So you really need to make sure that your resume speaks for itself. And that usually includes making sure that you have a portfolio of project work that documents what you've done, what you've learned, and the process that you went through as well, because that's a really key part of what employers want to know. They want to know what the process was you went through, what you learned along the way, so that they can see that you might actually be able to put that into action in the workplace as well. So the bottom line is certifications are necessary. In fact, I would say that they are a prerequisite, but they're not enough alone to get the job. So you do need to think more about getting that hands-on experience. Watching tutorials, watching videos, doing simple hands-on exercises, passing exams, memorizing facts, that's great, but it's not gonna be enough. So you need to pair that with what we've just talked about in terms of some type of project work. So if you wanna build real job-ready skills and stand out from the crowd of certified but largely inexperienced applicants who are going for the same job as you, then you might wanna join our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp. We combine certifications with real-world experience that you're gonna gain through group collaboration, instructor-led live sessions with instructors. You're also going to do interview preparation and salary negotiation strategies and many more activities to help you really build out your hands-on, your portfolio of products and projects that you've completed and build those additional skills that you need to help you to find and land that job. You don't need to choose between certifications and experience. You actually need both, but you've got to make sure that that experience aligns with real world problems so that employers can see that and understand how you can help them if you landed the job. If you're interested in learning more about our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp, check the link in the description of this video and let me know in the comments what's holding you back right now. Is it a lack of certifications? Is it hands-on experience that you need or is it something else? And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you wanna see more videos like this, we've got many more on cloud careers coming soon.